All right, so it is 6.45 in the morning. I don't even know what day it is. Thursday, I think. <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> um, this is the last of my food. But uh, we're going to go to the grocery store later and hopefully stock up. I didn't realize these eggs were cooked when I bought them, so we're going to try them. Not entirely sure what those are. I've seen them before. I don't remember what they're called, but they're good. My juice and like day old tea that I just didn't finish yet. Um, but yeah, this is uh, part two of Japan. So we are about to do our Japanology class. So this is our Japanese language class. This is our wonderful sensei, Kawahara sensei. <laughs> She's been teaching us our Japanese, which it's very difficult, <laughs> but we're trying. We're doing our best. So these are our worksheets every day. And uh, yeah, we slowly work through them, and it's, it's fun. I'm really enjoying this. Okay, so we just finished our Japanese language class for today, and it is getting harder. <laughs> we're all kind of, I think, just nearing the end of cognitive capacity right now. But the class this morning, the Jap Jap Japanology, I'm probably saying that wrong, Japanology class was really interesting. We talked about um, a Japanese author, and he, he was a very, very famous author, and I'm totally drawing a blank on his name. Um, does anyone remember his name, the name of the author? Darren, do you remember the name of the author for th this morning? Uh, no. No? OK. <laughs> anyway. Ryu, which means like Dragon Boy. Yeah, Dragon Boy. Um, and he wrote the Rashomon, Rashomon, um, which is like a collection of short stories. And um, the one we read was called In the Bamboo Grove, which was kind of like a crime mystery whodunit type of short story where there were seven different perspectives, all of which were conflicting. And we had to determine like who was the one who did it. Uh, there is no right answer, of course, but. Um, it was really interesting because we all took a different approach on how we analyzed it. So, like, uh, Darren and Nikki took a crime, like, criminology approach with, like, uh, you know, who was the most likely suspect, like, what, who has the most evidence against them type of thing. I took a more of, like, a psychology, biology standpoint where, like, okay, this is how memory works and, you know, memory evolved for survival, not accuracy. So who's... Like, how are they trying to survive? What was their, how does their perspective play into their survival um, and self-preservation? And then Tony took a very, uh, <laughs> a very philosophical approach. And like, you know, this is where the author was mental, may have mentally been while they were writing this, which was, it was really interesting. We all took different approaches. We all really enjoyed it and have been talking about it ever since. So if you get a chance, definitely take a look at the Rashomon and, um, into the bamp in the bamp in the bamboo grove, yes, and figure out who the author was because I don't remember. <laughs> so we just came from our student interactions with the Kansai Gaidai students who are going to be coming to Northern Lights College in the fall, and they're all really nice kids. Um, they're all I say kids; they're technically not kids, but they're quite a bit younger than me, so I feel like I can say that. Um, but yeah, they're really, really nice. One thing I found a little embarrassing on my part, um, well, I guess on our part, was that they did all ask about the crime in Fort St. John, which, of course, it's a bit embarrassing that that's that they need to ask about that. It's uh, it's unfortunate. Um, that's okay. <laughs> Fort St. John does have some issues with property crime, so it sucks, but it is reality. So we were trying to be honest about that. But that's one thing I think is important uh, distinction between here and Fort St. John. Like in Japan, like theft is, doesn't really seem to be a thing, which is like super cool. And I'm really happy for them that they don't have to worry about that. Unfortunately, that's not the case where I live. So that was a bit embarrassing. But everything else was really cool. They seem like really nice people. And uh, I really can't wait for them to come and stay at our college and learn as much as they can and interact with us. You're huge. Bathroom. Whoop. Does he got a parasite? No, that's just his bum. <laughs> hey, buddy. 
Have you heard of those parasite wasps that they're starting to try to um, deal with like, instead of using chemicals on crops and stuff? Have you we're in the supermarket again and I'm looking at fish and then this, which at first you're like, what is that? But like, look really closely. Tiny, tiny little fish. Same with this one. I have no idea how to cook that. I wanted to cook stuff here. I have no idea how to cook. So if anyone knows how to cook Japanese food in Japan, like, please teach me because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to try it. Here, let me know when it's ready. Why does it look like that? Right. Why is it stringy like that? Oh my goodness. God. It's like a bean cheese. Oh my God, it's still going. <laughs> ah! Nope. Nope. <laughs> so long right now. Nope. Can't do it. Ow. Just go for it, man. Just try it. Nope. I don't like that. No. Uh, no. Come on, you something for your friend. They're expecting your action. Yeah, okay. Right. Right. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, like I'm, I'm, like I'm filming you, Brennan, okay. so. Let me see. But I have very little batteries, so you gotta okay. make it fast. Uh, one. Yeah, I had one. I think one's enough. <laughs> what is it? We're going to do it. Why is it light? I don't think there's a way to describe it. You just got to try it. It's just hard to describe the taste. Let's see, Tony. I can't even pick up a scene. <laughs> I am. Okay, I can't. He's literally washing his mouth with soap. <laughs> There you oh, go. Yeah, I need this. <laughs> I need this. I'm scared. I'm like, I don't You're a foodie. You'll probably love it. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. Oh, I can't do it. <laughs> okay, well, don't, don't do it if you're going to toss. No, I'm not going to. I just, it makes me... The smell? Yeah, I'm moving. Yeah, I can't do it's it. It's not bad. That's not horrible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the aftertaste. It tastes like bad alcohol. <laughs> 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 How are you doing? I washed my mouth up with dish soap. <laughs> my mouth is so like. Yeah, it's not good stuff. I'm <laughs> sorry. I washed it out. Yeah, I had to wash my mouth out too. I didn't use dish soap, but. So that was what was that stuff called? Natto. 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 Natto eating that again. Like. <laughs> Oh, not so. <laughs> not so. Not so. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> still making faces. Not so. I'll eat the gelatin. I'll never eat the gelatin again. Yeah. Which one do you prefer to see in the Whose door is this? Women only. Oh. The other array in, on this floor. Oh. Is it a boy or a girl? Is it a boy or a girl? It's a boy. Boy, yeah. Boy. Boys I'm just, you know, the signs. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Women only. That's funny. <laughs> Sarah. But his name is this one. Dioya. Dioya. Oh. His, yeah, his, his friend put their name place. <laughs> any, any place. Yeah. Or so. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Uh, we brought friends. You want to go to I have so many questions. <laughs> this is very interesting. <laughs> <laughs>
genuinely do not know what that means. Conveys an image of rich harvest camels. If you know what that means, please tell me in the comments. So there's some bamboo in our classroom, and that's to do with... It's called Tanabata? Tanabata. Tanabata uh, festival? Or holiday? Tanabata, okay. Um, but yeah, this is part of the festival where you tie your wish, you write a wish down and you tie it to the bamboo. And um, the, yeah. sorry, what was the name of them again? Oni... Orihime. Orihime? Hikoboshi. And Hikoboshi will make your wish come true. So we're going to learn about that a bit more today, probably. So this is the festival we were talking about, and these are our students who are going to come and teach us about it. I see some yukata and some origami, and uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what else, so we're about to find out. Hi! Welcome to Kansai Gai Gai. Firstly, we are going to introduce ourselves. Just, we are many students, so just the name. <laughs> okay. But, yeah. My name is Nana. My name is Alisa. My name is Hana. My name is Grako. My name is Fiona. My name is Mako. My name is Manami. My name is Konima. My name is Kokone. My name is Yuki. My name is Lee. Hi. Uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> uh, we are all first grade of College of Global Engagement. And firstly, we are going to talk about the Tanabata. Do you know what is Tanabata? I read a little bit this morning. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> okay, this is one of the Japanese culture. This is one of the Japanese culture. And we are going to talk, introduce about the story of Tanabata. Ooh, this was the part I wanted to know. Once upon a time, there were young women, a daughter of God called Orihime, and a young man called Hikoboshi. And Orihime was a hard worker working as a weed, and Hikoboshi was a reliable person who was taking care of goats. The two eventually got married. <laughs> So cute. <laughs> <laughs> then the two who had been hard workers suddenly began to play and beat, and they stopped working at all. <laughs> <laughs> Only his father got angry and separated them by creating the Milky Way between them. This is so adorable. And they were so oh. So I'm going to try and make these out of these. Did it! Thank you! Thank you! So what are we doing at this one? We're making the boat and the little stars? The stars? Okay. Alright, let's see. Here, we made some stars and a little boat. Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> so cute! So this was your boat. You did a red one and you did a blue one. And my little dilapidated yellow one. <laughs> it's cute. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Haruna. Haruna. 
Haruna? Yeah. All right, perfect. And Chiharu. Chiharu? All right, and we're going to be making little stars. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's try it. <laughs> Mine, yeah, mine's a little interesting with the two yeah. colors. <laughs> a little different. <laughs> but thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Hi, I'm Elisa. Arisa. From Kansai Dai Dai. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kokone. Oh, Kokone, okay. And what are we making? We're make a flower. Oh, a flower. Okay, cool. So there's our flowers, we got some bows and more flowers, and then a little crane done by the beautiful uh, Kokone, Kokone, and Alisa, thank you. Oops. Oh, okay, Rin, Rin, Hana, all right, and what are we making? Oh, lantern and Milky Way, okay. Yeah. All right, thank you. Made a lantern and the Milky Way. Yay! Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so now we write a wish on a piece of paper and tie it to the piece of bamboo so that our wish will come true. You want to study abroad and you want to go to Canada. Yay! <laughs> So we are just waiting for everybody to finish filling their little bus train card thing, that thing, um, so that we can head to downtown Osaka and check out the anime store and, or stores, plural, I'm not sure if it's one or like many, probably many, and uh, the Nintendo store. So, yay! yay. <laughs> this is our wonderful guide. What's your name? Sophia. Sophia? All right. And uh, she's going to show us the anime store and the Nintendo store and kind of whatever else we feel like checking out. Yeah, like cat cafes. Cat cafes, yeah! Until I got sick. It was just like, oh, whatever, my hands are dirty, okay. When I became a healthcare aid, that's the biggest thing I took away from it. Like, I want to. Look at so many Downstairs. Downstairs. On the train. Yeah, we have nine more floors to go. So this is the mall in Osaka Station. Um, yeah, we're going up. We're on, going up to floor five, and we have to go up to thirteen. How many does it go up? I think like at least seventeen. At least seventeen. Okay. So this is a tall mall. <laughs> All right, we are almost there. This is. Oh, I see Pokemon. So this is the Pokemon Center and Nintendo Osaka. What? This is so cool. Oh my gosh. Ganondorf. Daddy Dorf and Zelda Bowser, check it out! This is so cool. Whoa! I need some for the vlog. I need you to take a quick video. That's so cool. This 
is so cool. This is all like a little bit overwhelming. I'm not really sure where to look. I'm so tempted to get the sheep one, but I don't really play enough Animal Crossing to know like any of these characters. Wait, I know Mimi. Is it Mimi? I don't even know. Parker, don't get mad at me. I'm like a kid in a candy store, but I'm just so overwhelmed. There's so much here. Alright, we're gonna narrow it down. I need to get something sheep related. Those are cute. Yeah, that so this is the Pokemon Center of Osaka. So I'm just gonna take a quick peek. But the lineup is crazy, so I'm not gonna buy anything. But yeah, this is pretty cool. If I had time, I absolutely would, but that's a Poke Stop, by the way. This place, if you play Pokemon Go, uh, this like there are Poke Stops everywhere here, literally everywhere, and like everything is totally overwhelming, but so cool at the same time. I don't even know what I'm looking for. I'm just looking around. Whew. So my kiddo is a huge fan of Pokemon, so that's a big part of why I wanted to take a look around, so I could put this in the vlog just for her. But I got her a little sheep plushy thing at the Nintendo store, which is right there. Now I need to figure out how to get out because I don't remember how I came in. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh huh. I think so. Oh my goodness. <laughs> if I had more time. Ah. And now we're looking for the anime stores. And I think this is still Osaka Station, but I'm not really sure. I swear, at some point my voice will come back when I, like, shut up long enough to d have it back. <laughs> so we're going on another train. Oh, there's some nice wind in there. Yeah. There are so many people here. Dude, yeah, this is where they all live. Right? All underground. <laughs> yeah, they all live underground. You don't see this many people above ground. That's why everybody comes up not sweating, because they all know how to get where they're going underground. Yeah, no doubt. It's so hot here. Oh, yeah. Just like everywhere you look, it's just an endless flow of people. Everybody like knows. But um, Osaka Station, where we just were, is the biggest station in Japan, and where we're about to go 
is the most confusing one. So I am so glad we have a guide. So this is Namba. Um, and we're still trying to figure out where we're going. Our guide is back there somewhere. I want to let someone else leave. Yeah. I don't want to leave. <laughs> where are we going? No, this way, not this way. This way. Up. Alright. We got some stragglers back there, so we'll have to wait. Yeah, I got a time machine. If you go to Japan, you're going to have to get used to going through these. Alright, and this is where you really don't want to lose the person in front of you. Namba. Oh yeah, let's, yeah, we should try and make sure that happens. Yeah, even our guide is confused. I don't feel so bad for having no idea where we are. Okay, so we managed to get upstairs into the mall, and our guide knows where we're going now. So we're looking for animates in Nipponbushi. I hope I said that right. Yeah, it's funny watching some people, like their shoes are honestly, yeah, they're like this big and they're still, like they're just as tall as you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're just kind of eye level with Chelsea or Chad. Yeah. Like, um, like, oh, wow, yeah, this is a place I actually get to feel tall for once. Like that would be, I think every day, you would need an average. You would need an average. Huh. Interesting. Upstairs. I'm down 13 pounds so far. Are you? Yeah. My body was really good. I, I was conserving energy, not doing anything, and then as soon as I start moving, it was just like being burned out all the time. going past all the restaurants and there's just this like hole in the wall and we come out this way and there's the city and see what I can see everyone's just refilling their water so I don't know where we're going but it's starting to rain and I'm totally okay with that okay so I talked to our guide and that's animated cafe so there's like anime style like themed um, cafes but like right next to it is where we're going I'm pretty sure any service we touch literally is like a billion hey there's bleach oh my hands I feel like this is going to be equally overwhelming oh my gosh Oh, is it individual vendors? I have no idea. Uh, maybe not. This is, uh, yeah, I'm so overwhelmed already. <laughs> I just cannot with this music. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, so we just finished in Animate, and um, they didn't have anything for Zerk. They also <laughs> they also wouldn't let, uh, let us film in there, so sorry. Um, we'll have to skip that for the vlog. But uh, there's like, was it five floors? Four floors? 
five floors. So first floor is like just like manga and kind of random stuff. Second floor is like merch. Third floor is secondhand stuff. Um, we have a secondhand porno section. Fourth floor is just straight up a whole floor of porno. And then the top floor was like trading cards, so like Pokemon cards and stuff. I'm like, how humid it is here. My hair is just going crazy. Anyway, we're gonna go to a restaurant and get something to eat now. All right, here we go. The restaurant. I'm gonna get that. So in Japan, to get your order taken, you have to like wave your hand at the waitress and say sumimasen and then they come over and take your order. So it's a little bit different than in Canada where you just wait. Interesting though. How many are there? Did somebody order something similar? I, I ordered one. Oh, okay. Wait, but I think I might have gotten the one with noodles on it. Okay. Cool. Looks like mine. So yeah, they're the they're the chefs. What am I? You couldn't imagine having to bend over like that though. Like, yeah. All day. Like being a bartender. Having to it's getting there. Yeah, getting there. So she just came and put some fish flakes on it and flipped it over. Oh, cool. 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 O